Hey guys, Tara here. Welcome back to Open Challenge. It's time for the fourth car today. And it's the Outlaw Rally Four Wheel Drive because since well this was the the fourth best car from the uh, the first round. Let's see. Uh, well, keeping with the theme of rally cars since the first stage was kind of like a, a rally stage where it's off road. So you think that the rally cars would do the best, and it's in. This is very well. It's either light on the rear or heavy on the front, and I've completely missed that corner. But we lost time through that, so I don't know if I can do. Oh, that's a power slide, and oh, that's a wheel broken. That might be an issue. Oh no, it's going okay-ish. I mean, he has to go above 20 mile an hour, and nope, it's uh, the car has decided it does not want to continue on two and a half wheels. That's that. Uh, that's the pause. That's complete. That's the complete wrong button. There we go. I reset the car. Let's try that again. So that was a really underwhelming first run. I'm going a bit closer there. Let's try and oh no, bounces, bounces are not good. Okay, but we must should control it though. Just about the engine sold again. Come on, get going. I mean, it's, it's, I think I remember this thing being rather temperamental last time. Though it's a bit, it's a. Oh, I was going to say it's a bit understeer. I think that's. A, I think that is definitely a rather an understatement. But yeah, a lot of understeer. I mean, I've driven a few of races on F1 2019 now at this point for my uh, career mode. So. Like I'm getting used to understeery cars, I guess, but this is going to be completely different now. I'm going on the brakes here. Is that going to be too early? No, that's th no, that is definitely not too early. Right now, that's this. This thing isn't even going to move, is it? Mm, well, it, it moves slightly, but that this isn't going anywhere. It seems this thing is going to be more of a challenge on this course than it was on last. I mean, I remember the last time. It was uh, getting a bit argumentative again with the wheel broken. So uh, that's really all I remember about this car. I mean, it was the same colour as last time, so yeah, I don't need to remember what colour it was. Not the, the colours actually make a difference. Although red paint is a lot heavier in real life, but if made this thing red, I doubt it would be any heavier than what it currently is now. So that's why I leave, leave everything the, the colour that it spawns in, besides the rally F416 on the last course, because it blended in too well. I want to use it in the thumbnail. And on the brake that time again, a little bit of a slide. And now, no, that's the brakes are doing nothing. The brakes did literally nothing there, but the car is it slowed down somehow, and somehow all the wheels are still attached, and every, everything's actually still attached. That's a bit of a corner cut to the side. No, that's going to not go so well. That's off the barrier. I mean, it's definitely going to be damaged to that wheel, but uh, this is, this is going to be all new territory now. You get on the brakes around here, so I can actually get around the corner, and yeah, it's going to be off the barriers once again. It's a good of this. Oh my God, that was close to the wall. It's a good deal the suspension isn't the uh, the weakest thing anymore. I mean, if, if this was a real car, I'm going to get on the brakes now. I'm sliding, I'm sliding, that's not good. It's got all four wheels locked up. But now, that's the worst part of the course done. I say that, I'm probably going to crash into the, one of the bins around here now, aren't I? And I'm going to get on the brakes here. Well, that's going to be way too late still, we just managed to get around the corner. And I'm going to avoid the bins, because the car's still, so... Definitely take that bit nice and controlled. Uh, around the final corner, put the power down, uh, hit the wall again, oh, if I'd have lo lopped off a wheel then. And I'm going to miss the petrol station, but uh, that was from a slide. And usually I have to I have to pull the cars up, and this thing, it was still driving more than 30 miles an hour. Well, there's, the screen freeze has something to say about that. But this thing, without the wheel dragging, it's still capable of moving at a good enough speed, so I'll, I'll, I'll count that. But uh, yeah, if it's uh, the rule state, the, my, well, my, my own rule state, it has to uh, pull up smoothly, but that's, this thing was still out of control, it wasn't even going very fast, but um, yeah, it still drives good enough, so that will count as the uh, the first run. And once I got past the first few corners, it actually went pretty okay, I mean, I did take it a bit cautiously, but I needed to because I was bouncing off every uh, every single wall as you saw, but the next car is going to be one that actually didn't take part in the last round, mainly because it couldn't. I mean, I had the cars downloaded, I could have used them if I wanted to, and I did want to, but you just couldn't. Uh, well, which one should I go for first? No, let's let's keep with the off-road theme. Let's go for the the uh, Bolide off-road track toy. And I'll show you why when it spawns in. The, the, sh the overall strength of it isn't... isn't well, it's not a problem. Oh, that is a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. That's, that's close enough. But the thing is, look at that. The steering is broke just from that. This thing's steering is the weakest thing known to man. And it's the thing with all the track toys as well. So trying to get them to go run. Oh, the tyres are destroyed. That is a great start to the run. And steering is broken. <laughs> 
That is, um, that's even worse than what I thought was going to happen. The front eye is just deciding, no, nah, I'm, I'm done with life. Let's go, that's then punch it again. And now I can actually progress a little bit further this time. I mean, well, yes, we have. But now then, braking with two front flat tyres isn't going to be the best. Well, the wheels, one of the wheels is broken, is it? And I think so. Yeah, turning, turning, no, turning is not an option anymore. I'm just going to go play in the other. This, this is why I didn't, well, this is why I, yes, this is why I didn't use these things last time. So I'm going to have to take it easy off the start, not to shred the front tyres like that. Although they still end up shredding anyway. Why are they shredding? No, let's, let's just go straight into the hills, into a tree or something. Oh, the trees are drive throughable. That's brilliant. And now oh, we're going to end up at the highway. And then once again, just taking it easy to start with. I'd say easy, we're still doing about 70 ish mile an hour. And then over the hills, the second jump, and now going up to the third one. Yep, everything has survived. But I want to put in a little bit of steering input. I say a little bit. I have to be so careful here. Around, around this bit where I can take it slow and it's going to be okay, but um, once it gets further on in the lap, it's the high speed sections, that's where the issues are going to start. It doesn't stop, stop bouncing as well. Oh, well, something's broken. Yep, something's definitely broken now. Yeah, the wheels, but yeah, so you, can see it, you can see it bouncing along. Something wasn't happy on the rear of this car. Uh, this is, well, oh, great, punctures again, but the steering survived that time, so I might be able to get away with it. Now they're going to get heavy on the brakes already. I'm not even going to turn, that was just the braking in the car wanting to leap itself around. Now I'm bouncing again, I'm going to take it nice and easy on the turning, because I have to. Now I'll give the other ones a go if this one can't do it, because there's the all-wheel drive one, and a dragster one, which is massive power rear-wheel drive, so... Three different, the main three different ones I wanted to give a go. Oh my god, 240 mile an hour on a car which doesn't steer. I'm going to get on the brakes, is there any turning left in this car? No, there's no turning whatsoever. But from a 200 and something mile hour collision, to, for this to be the only damage it sustained, that's some good going. But the front tyre shredding is going to be a problem, I'm, a, I'm imagining. So yeah, I'll give it one more run after this. If the front tyres continue to shred, then it will be a DNF for this car and I'll give one of the uh, other ones a go. Uh, once again, round the roundabout, the uh, the long way, as the penalty for not completing the run fast time, and oh no, wheel's broken. I'm going to have to grab reverse now. Do I try and get it to turn? And now then, nope, it's not turning. That's a tree, that's probably where the car belongs. Now, final run. I'm not going to take it super cautiously, because oh, the tyres are already punctured, and one of the wheels is already broken. So let's just fling this thing up as fast as possible, although, to be fair, I have to give it a run to see if it will still ca be capable of making it. And it's made it so far, the wheel still actually turns, the steering is still connected, I think. Now I've got to keep it out of here, now that I can put the power down a little bit, although, yep, turn, turning, steering's gone, I was going to plow it into a tree, oh, I was hoping it'd get a little bit further than that, so I could fling it into something, uh at much higher speed, but that is going to be a DNF for this, for this car. Can't say I was expecting that to be an issue, so now let's let's give one of the other ones a go, because if the tyres don't explode, the steering might have a chance at survival. Now let's go for the, the second fastest one now, which is the all-wheel drive supercharged one, stage two, because it was a regular one, but I'm not getting of the three different types. This one's a little bit shorter, so you move forward a little bit. No, that's that's too far forward. This thing, like the other one, has got so much power in it. I need to get it to go back a little bit first. That's close enough. Also, it has a giant wing, so I'm guessing this thing is going to be aero-dependent on that. Over the jumps, and the wing didn't fall off. Now heavy on the brakes, and I've missed the corner. But then again, completely different car, and oh, the steering is gone. What a surprise. Let's just try to drive into this house. But yeah, it's disappointing first run once again, just showing why I couldn't actually use these cars last time. Now then over the jump once again, and oh, that's the wing slightly broken, but it's still attached, so I'll continue, and I've got to go this way around, because the first run, oh, I didn't even get to the roundabout on the first run, but either way, the first run is what it is, so I have to go this way now. And oh, that is quite... Um, the front's quite sharp at slow speeds, it seems, once the steering actually works. 
the, the rear spoiler is concerning me. Oh no, that's a slide. That's not where I want to be. And I was, uh, things are broken. Many things are. Yeah, the steering's gone again. It was wiggling a lot, anyways. I mean, I have to keep. I'm gonna have to keep the steering straight if it's to have any chance of actually surviving. Is the spoiler gonna survive this time? I'm gonna get on the brakes now, though. I mean, that's really cautiously, but I think I'm gonna have to have that rear wing survive. It's good to do the road signs if it are dry throughable, because they'd be really annoying if they weren't. What's also really annoying is that the steering has gone again, but uh, I'll continue to see how far I can get, see if I can smash it into something more interesting. No, it's going to be another tree, although that was a more interesting collision that time. I will give it that, at least. Wait. Even on this course, I thought the cars would have su would survive this. I mean, the, the amount of shaking they do on the initial acceleration, that is a problem. That's probably what weakens it, but who designed this car with such weak steering? And that's just me crashing through a tree now I'm completely stuck and the steering is probably going to be broken again anyway yeah because he wanted the wheels isn't pointing straight so it didn't make any difference that I ended up in that tree over there I mean, there's only one more left to go if there's any hope of, it, of these cars actually completing this course and for the other ones I've got lined up if they can't even complete this course then there's no way in hell they're getting around the other one I'll right, give this thing two more goes and then it's going to be an F, and it's going to be even actually lower down than what the other one was, because the other one made it at least a little bit further. I mean, it's still really disappointing, but it's not really the car that ever designed them. We have suspension arms that are made of um, what's well, something really weak. Uh, I actually think anything right now. Something that's, that's easy brittle. Well, I would say dry weight space, but dry weight space is the strongest thing known to man. Here we go. Oh no! Oh my God, that was it. That was aggressive. I don't really know what else to say about that. That picked up so much speed so quickly. But this thing actually has potential, it seems, if it can actually stop destroying itself. And now I've got to give it a few more runs now. I was expecting the steering just to break on these two runs as well, but if it can actually get out on that crash, that was my fault from carrying way too much speed with this thing. And just get guy it round the roundabout there. Now then through the tunnel. Now we can put the power down and avoid the wall, if we can, but the screen freezes don't help in that situation. And again, screen freezes don't help in any situation. And it's getting a bit wobbly, it's going to get on the brakes now. And it's still wobbling. oh no. And, oh, I've actually found somewhere new to crash. Yeah, I'm going to have to get even earlier on the brakes with this thing, so I think it might be possible, but it's just so loose under braking as well, which is a new problem discovering, because they can actually get up to speed with this car for once, and when it starts wiggling, you have to start correcting it, and that starts using... Oh, and then you have to start turning, and then you just create a problem with braking the wheel, so... Going speed is what you need to do, but you can't. I know that's a lot of... Uh, I know these things are all-wheel drive, but I feel like they've got a preference to more being front-wheel drive. I'm going to get on the brakes now. See if it can make the corner now. Yes, it can. Now I'm going to get on the brake once again. I've got to keep the turning nice and smooth. Little movements, don't keep it locked in one direction. And there's a little cut out on the wall. Oh no, let's get off the curving. They, they just suck you in. Which you can end up doing this to stay, uh, well, I, I can grind over the curb with how low some of these cars are as well. Now, turning isn't a premium at high speeds. I'm trying to put the power down. See, this thing is basically, in a way, front wheel drive car. In, although it's actually classes of well, it is still four wheel drive, but like I said, it's front wheel. It's got more power going to it, so in a way, it handles like a front wheel drive car, just with better acceleration. And then under braking now, once again, just little movements to get the car turned, and the steering and everything has survived so far. Now then, you've got the, the bump here might be an issue. No, I was going so slow with that then. Now then, you've got a little bit further to go under braking. Don't mess it up now. I know, I have the quarter rule, that's going about 20 mile an hour, but going around these corners, I have to just be so gentle on the movement to actually get this thing to turn. But now it's going to be about the run up to line, I went up to 130 mile an hour momentarily. Over the line, I hit the wall, but, um, oh, that's reverse into the wall. But besides that, the car, yeah, it still turns. I can still easily do over 20 mile an hour. So, just like the, uh, the last car that went, this run, and now the steering brakes, yeah, this run, it counts. And one of the cars made it round. That is an that is an accomplishment in itself, just uh, quite honestly. And with that, let's give the other one the one the go. I mean, I've had those two. Let's try the third one, which is going to be the fastest of the three, so it should be the most problematic. The dragster drag toy. And like I said, massive rip thing from 
just giving it a test in straight line speed down the road Atlanta circuit. They did down that straight, so yeah, I'm expecting this thing to implode. If it gets five over the jumps, and oh no, that's a bad spin, that's a tree! That is, oh, that is, um, steering survived, but that is the end of the, of the first run by driving into a tree. Yeah, this thing is monstrous power, look at that, look at the height I can get. Uh, breaking on the front wheels and breaking the front wheels. Now the engine's stalled, I'm not surprised about that, let's see if we can, can get anywhere with this thing. Nope, steering has, that, that's gone, that's not a surprise. Yeah, this thing, monstrous power. I'm, I'm having fun just flooring it as well to see how far I can get out of this thing to do. And then that's, that's survived so far. The rear wing is attached still. Now they're going to get on the brakes. Now this thing, despite having much more power, it's definitely more responsive on the front, even with having smaller wheels. Then again, the front wheels don't have power going to them. Well, they might do a little bit, actually. I saw a bit of wheels been there. But maybe they have a little bit of power. Oh, no, I clipped a tree. That is problematic. And, oh... That was going so well as well. I was saying going so well. I don't actually know how the rest of them are going to turn up, but clipping a tree. But for clipping a tree at that speed, for that to be the own, for that to be the uh, how the crash ended up, that was pretty good, I have to say. Another well, thing. On the, oh, the brakes don't really want to work that time. The brakes seem a bit temperamental. Also, so do the so does the steering as well. And once again, just playing in the trees. That, I bet that was the run that ended up counting as well. And over the jump, this time definitely not getting as much speed up. And I'm going to keep it more controlled. And then pull a little bit of power down, coming around to the roundabout. I mean, this is the way around you have to go if this was a law abiding run. But you get that law abiding run, you run about track time. And I was so close to the wall again, the car was just drifting out wide. And if I put the power down, I probably would have slammed it into it even quicker. So basically, a dandy if I did, dandy if I didn't. Oh, this thing is wiggling. That's a wall. Oh my god, that was aggressive. Into it. Oh no, this is going to be hard crash into the wall. Oh, that stopped suddenly, actually. It seems, um. This thing's also going to have issues with, um, stability, which isn't surprising. What's also surprising is I lost the wing again. Oh no, that's the wheel gone. It's, it's gone, but it it works as. Oh, why can't it fall off completely? That was so worked as being just a one wheel drive car in effect. I mean, it might have been three wheel drive, really, but that rear wheel being the one doing the power. That would have worked so good, I think. I mean, well, 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 no, well, we'll never know. I was hoping, well, I saw the wheel then. I I saw it was in the, like, in the, the NOS tank or whatever it is on the back. I was hoping it wasn't actually attached still. I, mean, I don't know what it was attached even by at that. Just by the, the uh, laws of magic, or maybe? Something like that. But this time, yeah, it definitely feels more controllable. It did until then. Going to get on the brakes now, because I felt a wiggle, so... Oh, that's going to be so slow coming into this section. But now on the brakes once again, to keep the car turned. Oh, under understeering a little bit. Now we can get the car turned through there. I oh, don't want to be uh, going over the curbing. That's not what I want to be doing. That's a little bit of a wiggle. Oh, this has not been a good line. That's going to be the outside wall. But we managed to get away with it, though. Put the power down. I feel a bit sluggish. I may have been stuck in a higher gear. Oh, no. Screen freezes. Screen freezes. Oh, come on. Screen freezes. All right, the car, it still works. Question mark. But I think it might be a little bit stuck. Now, the engine's not doing anything either. So, yeah, I think the... the uh, the engine is probably a little bit dead at this point. It's not doing anything, so oh, the green freeze is so screwed me over there. Like they have, actually, I don't think they've really screwed me over too badly. But that 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 could have been the oh, no, that's this is not going to be the one. But yeah, that is definitely not the one. That wheel still even take. Yeah, we still have some steering ability. So I, I'll try and continue the run. Oh, we get a little bit further. That is a really thin house. Who lives in a house that thin? Like, seriously. That is not even a house, that is a shed. Either way, try again. Uh, I'm so, th I'm so I'm feeling that run because it's, it's so cautious and so slow, but it probably would have made it, unlike this run. We're back now to the uh, the problematic starts of just flying away. That's going to again. Okay, landing, that's going to be into a tree though, but it didn't take out the wheels. It smashed everything else. Completely. I'm going to turn very gingerly. Oh, that wheels, they are not aligned anymore. But I don't really think that's going to be matter too much. And also, the car being wonky, though, that could be the uh, the issue. Or the steering could be the issue with both the wheels breaking. I really think that screen freeze is what did it. Oh, well, is what did it. Well, yeah, it's definitely what did it on that run. Oh, the spoiler's gone. 
This is going to be a uh, interesting challenge now. Never mind, because the wheel was broken. Uh, right, since it's not going to count anyway, I was going to see if I could if I could just shortcut it to go the other way and try and get s some feeling of how the car would be with no rear wing. As we're going towards that tree again, I just can't get a good landing, a good a good flight path over that jump anymore. Now, and the wheels they still work, so I'm going to try and get it going. Oh, that wheel stuck down on the ground. We can get it off the grass though. And oh, we got we've got a donut machine car basically. Yeah, this thing is just going to go around in circles. It's just getting worse for this thing. I feel like it can definitely make it. I mean, after the last one did, this one definitely has to make it. It doesn't have to, but it's going to, if I can just stop doing this. I mean, I can stop doing it easily by driving it slower, but why would I want to drive it slower? I'm going to keep the, the turning turning uh, to a minimum. No, I mean, you can get it to, I think this, the steering, once again, is the only thing holding the... Uh, the front right actually onto the car somehow. So when that breaks, that's not an if, that is a when, something is going to go horrifically wrong very quickly. It's already pulling though to the left as well with the damage that it's got. So I'm going to get on the brakes now and see if I can make it. No, no, no not going to make it. And, I mean, it was, a good, it was a good attempt, honestly, for... Uh, and that wheel is... The, that wheel is the one that still works. I should be surprised about that, but it's BMNG. I'm not really surprised about much that happens in this game anymore. Right, spoiler's gone again, but everything else has survived, and, and it's lucky the steering survived after uh, that amount of steering correction I had to do. The screen freeze free. I've just changed it now, haven't I? Screen freeze free. Oh, that's that wheel taking a lot of damage now from that. Yeah, the speed is definitely not there anymore, and oh, it is, it, it was there, but it's not where I want it to be, and oh. Yep, now the, now it's completely stuck. It's just getting worse for this thing. Now then, it's just this jump really that what kills it. I mean, the tree's the thing that kills it, but going offline on the jump doesn't exactly help. Now then, this thing, it still turns, it still has steering ability. Oh, you can see how much the wheels are, um... Not really wanting to comply, but they are, so I have to keep going with it. I mean, if the kinds are making it like this, I'd be very, very impressed, but we, we know it's not going to make it. So just in for another very, very high-speed incident with this thing. Because now it's pulling to the right, which might actually help coming up to this corner. Though I left braking there way too late, that's straight on. And I don't know if the thing would have made it anyway, With it was already smoking, so... And with how powerful this thing is... It probably would have overheated before then anyway. And that's the spoiler gun again. Oh, the spoiler gun under these, the tyres. The exhaust damage. I think having a damaged exhaust is probably the least of the issues right now. The main issue being that the spoiler has been eaten by the rear wheels. That's going to cause a puncture at any time. And could just run all these guests stuck underneath and then spin us out as well. We just lose grip on the rear wheels. But yeah, oh no, it's it's moving about. That is a problem. What's also a problem is my a lack of turning ability. Oh, that's the rear wheels. That's that. This run isn't going to go very far now. Yeah, thanks for that rear spoiler. It's taking away my traction, my my grip as well. Not there is much grip in this thing really anyway. That's the spoiler gone again. I mean, the spoiler falling off now. Probably going to be a common occurrence it seems. I have to go around the roundabout once again. And this thing, if I can get a run out of it, it surely it has to be faster than the all-wheel drive one. I mean, it's made it further regardless than the other one, if it ends up being a DNF, but no, this thing, it needs a spoiler. It just gets a little bit of speed up, and then it's, uh, then it, then it's just gone. But now I can, can we even try and continue with this car? Um, not with the wheel um, deciding it wants to uh, not be in this realm anymore. Oh, the fire extinguisher just fell out. That is a first. I've never got that thing to detach before, in any time I've used this thing. This thing, it was looking so good for it, surprisingly. And I'm not going to tell I'm just going to let that thing spin. And then, oh, that's way too much on reverse. I, f I forgot reverse was going to be so powerful since I haven't really used reverse all too much. That's a damaged exhaust. The front splitter's falling off as well. As long as he doesn't get stuck underneath the, the wheels, though, that is, then it's going to be fine. But now, remember, I'm going to need to take it cautiously as well. And I can get it turned again straight. Oh, the wheel was broken again. But I can still drive in a straight line. So this might be okay, although wiggling like that is not going to be okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not okay. I'm going to come into the... Oh, my... 
that would that would hurt if uh, yeah if, if if that were real. But uh, two more runs for this thing after this one if this one doesn't make it because uh, yeah this thing the video's getting on a bit now. Okay, that's about 25 minutes. Oh, the wheel is broken again. So let's just drive the thing into a tree. Right, two runs to go. Two attempts left at, at salvaging anything for this car. Nice, nice wheelie. Really nice wheelie. Nice, not nice brakes though. But the steering has survived. This tree is dry throughable. Take it nice and cautiously to get back onto the road. Well, if it makes it on the wheelie run, I'll be happy with that. I'll be happy if it makes it full stop. It's only got two. One more chance left after this if this one doesn't end up making it. And the wheels, though, they survived wheeling, so there is hope for this thing yet, I guess. Now I'm going to get on the brakes here because I really want this thing to make it. I mean, it's already lost a load of time being stuck in the uh, the wilderness over there. Once again, let's take it nice and cautiously around here. Avoid the barriers, which we do, but then again, we get an okay, then I don't get off the, uh, the curbs. No, don't hit the wall. The brakes are pretty good, I have to say, on this car. That is one thing that's good about it as well. Oh, understeer. No, don't screen freeze me there again. That's just cost it even more time. And now then, putting the power down once again. Getting another little wheel. This thing so wants to make it on this run. I mean, I wanted to make it on this run as well. Now I'm going to get on the brakes here. And I'll go lucky there over the kerb as well. Because it's a good grind it along that now. The wheel is brake here. It's probably going to be... The place where they do, if they if they're going to, which they're not. So I can, I I hope. I was going to say I can say it confidently, but with this thing, you can't say anything confidently with it. And now, really, really slowly around the final corner. And it's going to be that final blast now. Then up to the line, and then putting the car up. And actually made it into the petrol station that time. A little bit of damage on the rear, but uh, yeah, actually made it. I mean, it it deserved to make it with. Uh, with well, how, with how it's done, but that run, I feel like it's going to be quicker than the uh, the other one as now as the steering and brakes. So yeah, probably wasn't. Well, I mean, I probably the other way, but that's not going to affect that side. So oh, playing the stream. There's actually, there's actually a river here. That's in. That's something I never noticed before. I think I've never really been on this bit of the map ever. So anyway, so if you enjoyed these cars, then uh, leave a like on this video. Leave a comment down below, so I'll put the results up on the screen now as well. So yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. That wheel is still steered on that side somehow. But anyway, yeah, remember to give me a follow on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They'll be linked in the description down below. So thanks for watching, I'll see you all next time.